It's nearly impossible to find a business that doesn't have some port of technology integrated into its operations. So what makes cyber liability insurance so important? Let's find out. Technology has become such an important aspect of running a business's operations successfully. With that in mind, there's also been a big uptick in the amount of data that we store and that we share online via different channels uh, with parties who are essential for our day to day. Um, with that taken into account, you also have to expect that there are new sorts of risks with sharing and storing that data. And it can be things as simple as theft, like from a computer or a laptop in your office that contains sensitive client or vendor information. But it can also be something a little less tangible, like a website or a social media um, content piece that uh, gets put out there uh, that also puts you at risk. Um, and that might not be covered uh, on your current business policy. Uh, a standard issued business commercial general liability policy, primarily speaking, uh, steps up to protect you against injury and property loss while a cyber liability policy will take care of some of these potential exposures um, that your business may face, uh, primarily electronic and, and data-centric uh, exposures. The first big one um, that's on the forefront right now is data breach, which has faced a lot of regulatory response from uh, government. And because of that, it's sort of a two-factor um, exposure for most businesses because if there is a data breach that occurs, not only do you have to expend funds to take care of security fixes and identity theft protection for those affected by the breach, but also you have to reach out to these parties if you're aware of uh, said breach and notify them um, that it has occurred. So um, a cyber liability will cover you some for something like this that involves both a financial risk and a reputational risk. Um, another possible exposure is intellectual property rights. That involves things um, that usually occur uh, with your online presence. And when I say online presence, I mean your website, your social media, or your blogs that you have going. And with those, uh, we see cases like uh, libel or copyright and trademark infringement, um, defamation that occurs um, with you know, things that get posted or created on these. Uh, these websites. And uh, yeah, a commercial general liability uh, won't automatically take that into account. Cyber will. The next is um, cyber extortion. Uh, we're probably familiar with some of the commonplace techniques used for cyber extortion, like phishing and scamming emails or phone calls, things of, like that. Um, because when your systems or your network is affected negatively by someone who has hacked in or transmitted some sort of virus or malware, and they are extorting you um, by saying, you know, we are able to fix this, um, but it's gonna cost you. And it's usually not a small sum of money in order to make those fixes uh, and comply. So if you have to dedicate um, funds to either fixing it yourself or bringing into a team to take care of these you know, missing pieces, this, this damage that's been caused to your internal systems. Uh, you uh, are able to hire those people and be reimbursed. You're also, uh, it's also taken into account that you absolutely must pay the extortionists um, to you know, bring and restore your sites and your data um, back to its original state. Uh, one of the other exposures is system failure, and that's, uh, system failure that occurs via a physical event or natural disaster or um, malicious activity. Uh, if it uh, results in a loss uh, of data or code, um, then this is what cyber liability will take care of. When it comes to the actual property loss, like um, you know your, your physical hardware, your computers, that's still covered under the property section of your commercial liability policy but the data restoration and code um, restoration, that's where the cyber steps up. So as your business grows, um, 
you have to imagine that the amount of data that you're going to accumulate is going to keep growing, which becomes ever more important of a consideration when running your uh, business's daily operations. Cyber liability insurance isn't automatically endorsed upon your policy, so definitely make sure you check it out and uh, either speak to your agent or reach out to us um, if you'd like us to review your policy and see if it's included. You can contact us uh, via phone at 845-342-4888, or you can email me directly. My name's Liam. Uh, my address is Liam, L-I-A-M, at Joy insurance.com. I'll leave that uh, at the last frame of this video and also in the description box below. So uh, yeah, we look forward to hearing from you soon. We hope that this session on cyber liability insurance was helpful.